Nurse, the hospital phone is ringing. Hello? Hey. Yeah, I'm in the hospital. Uh-huh. No, I, I, I didn't drink the celery juice. No, I know you told me to drink it months ago. No. I, you told me that the... I know what you told me. You told me that the juicer is like a medical device. That you said that a juicer is a medical device. And you told me that it's better to be on that medical device instead of other medical devices. What? Yeah, I'm on all kinds of medical devices now. I'm on the heart monitor. Hey, nurse, is something wrong with my medication? Can I? Nurse, do I, do I do this? Oh, it's dripping. For some reason, I, I think they're incompetent at this hospital. Uh-huh, I think they're just downright incompetent here. Because now, I wasn't even dripping. Nurse, it's dripping now. Uh, what? No, I don't want to start celery juice now. The, I asked for some food and the nurse is bringing me up some food. Nurse, I, I don't know if this is right. Wait a minute. Huh? Wait, the nurse just brought me some food. Oh, thank you. Thank you, nurse. I really, really appreciate it. I, I, I want to eat now. No, I, celery juice, I hate the taste of celery juice. I hate it. Uh-huh. Oh, good. They brought me a grilled cheese sandwich. I know the hospitals that you can order grilled cheese sandwiches, and I didn't believe that was true until I ended up in the hospital. Well, they always give you an egg in the hospital. They say it's one of the healthiest foods. Uh-huh. They say that I get my protein, and that's going to... you think that'll help me get better if I have my protein? Um, I just had a blood test and I feel like I lost a lot of blood. I'm a little dizzy. Uh, nurse, is this working? Uh, here we go. Now it's dripping. Oh, good. Oh, that's good. Yep. Yeah. Um, they're giving me blood, yes. Because they did blood work on me and they removed so much blood that they actually thought I was going to die. So now they have blood going in me. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm just going to have some of my grilled cheese sandwich and maybe have this egg. Yeah. I don't want to do celery juice. I don't care if a juicer is a medical device. I'd rather be on these medical devices. Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't know why the nurse left my biohazard... The biohazard container here. It's got all the needles in it from everybody. Oh my God, it's filled with needles. Yeah, she left the biohazard container here. Is this, are they gonna charge me for this phone call? Do you think my insurance will cover the phone call charge? I think they're probably gonna charge me $1,000 like hospitals do for your, yeah, the hospitals charge you like $5,000 at night. Yeah, and it just goes on your insurance. You think I should have drank celery juice? I don't want to drink it. You've been telling me to drink it for years. No, I know. I don't care what people say about it, that it's helped them. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Why do hospitals charge $5,000 a night when it's the most shittiest place to be? I'd rather be home. Um... Nurse, which medication am I on? Because I need it right now. I could feel it. I'm getting pains again. I think the nurse is coming back. She's going to help me with my medications. Nurse? Um, hold on. I think it stopped dripping. Nurse? They don't have celery juice here in the hospital. You think they should? Why would they do that? Why would they put celery juice in hospitals? I, I, they have grilled cheese sandwiches. You can't order a celery juice in the hospital, but you can order a grilled cheese sandwich. 
And I can get an egg in the hospital too. Uh huh. All right. I want to eat because I'm get I'm really hungry. Yeah. Okay. I think the nurse is coming back. I don't feel so good. Um. Nurse, can you remove the biohazard box? It's got everybody's dirty needles in it. Huh? Here, thank you. Oh good, the nurse took the biohazards box away. Nurse, you left these here too. You took a hundred vials of blood from me the other day. I know you only needed a drop. The blood lab only needed a few drops, but it's good that you took hundreds of vials. Uh-huh, you guys are so responsible at these hospitals. Uh-huh. Anyway, yeah, I, I landed, I got so sick, I just... Uh, I almost took my intravenous... Yeah, a friend just brought me a double cheeseburger. Uh-huh. These taste a lot better than that celery juice, I swear to God, these taste so much better. I don't know. Do you think they have these? Okay. I gotta take, I gotta rest. Yeah, they said I had a panic attack and they think, they don't think it's a heart attack. They think I just had a panic attack. Yeah, they're gonna dismiss me today. Okay. Uh-huh. We're being censored today. Oh my God, I can't even get above 600 and everybody's saying they're all getting kicked off. Okay. All right. Um, I gotta, I gotta hang up. We're, yep, we're hanging up. Okay. We're live! You know, it's amazing. It's, I can't tell you how amazing it would be if celery juice was in hospitals. That would be incredible. It's an herbal medicine, but they don't want it in hospitals. Of course not. Why would you want celery juice in a hospital? Right? You would never want that. You would never want that. I mean, why would they want that? Huh? You know? I gotta take my bed sheet. <laughs> you guys, we're talking about juicing today. We're talking about celery juice. We're live right now. We're talking about the MM900 HDS. If you guys just got on here, just so you know, next week we're doing the medical meeting heavy metal detox cleanse next week. The reason why I got the juicer out here is not only is it on sale, but it's something that's important for the medical medium heavy metal detox cleanse because it's part of it. Give everybody the 411. This is 20% off. If you guys have this juicer, uh, incredible. If you don't, if you have any juicer, use, it, use any juicer you have, for sure. Um, yeah, good to see you guys. Oh, you see the pink phone in the back? Well, it's a hospital, I was using the red phone. You guys, um, I'm gonna do some juicing. This is a medical device. The reason why I did that little stint, even though it, that little skit right there, even though that skit might not have made a whole lot of sense, <laughs> I tried my best. You have the juicer in the 11 on TikTok? Incredible, I love the juicer. There's a juicer bar in your hospital? I, oh my God, if they offered celery juice, that would be incredible. The best juicer it is, it's an incredible juicer. So the reason why I'm doing that skit right there is because this is a medical device, it's something that's really important to know. Um, so this is a medical device and it's something that's really important to understand because what you're doing is you're creating herbal medicine is what you're doing. So you're juicing, you're juicing an herb is what happens. And when you juice an herb, you're, you're creating herbal medicine. So that's important to know, right? So, so what people don't realize is you're looking at an herb right there. That's what you're looking at. You love your Omega G-Cert? Incredible. Tammy, incredible. Nicole, I love it. If you guys don't know the G-Cert, it's the MM900 HDS. It's 20% off at OmegaGeucers.com. 20% off. I'm working with them on this G-Cert. It's an incredible G-Cert. Saves people money. 
And if I can save you money, that matters right there. And you save a lot of money. I've saved thousands of dollars. The juicer has paid for itself over and over and over again. It's paid for itself. It's so incredible. Marissa, MM900 HDS. Everyone asks me, what juicer do you use? I could tell, I could say it a million times. People are like, what? What? Does it juice wheatgrass? Yeah, you can put wheatgrass in here. Of course you can. You can put anything in here. You can put wheatgrass in here. Perfectly fine to do that. So, MM900, and you love it? Amazing. So glad you guys love it because I love it. Yeah, Amy, in the light. It's a medical device. It's the best. I want all my patients to have it. If only insurance covered this, Maggie. I know. If only insurance covered this, that would be incredible. So, let me get my celery out. Next week, we're doing the... My God, no one's al allowed on the Instagram live tonight, you guys. So um, everybody's being kicked off, like everybody. i surprise you guys that are on there, or even on there. Uh, go to TikTok if you want. That might work out a little better. So juicing a little bit of celery here. MM School. Which one somebody to choose from on megajuicers.com? It's the MM900 HDS. That's the only one on sale, but it's the MM900 HDS. That's the one. The others won't do what this is about to do. So I'll demonstrate, it's their celery model, celery juicer model. So I'll demonstrate, okay? So what you're doing here is, this is not a vegetable. <laughs> You got kicked off twice. Erica, everybody is. It won't go above 700 people. So they're kicking thousands off. This is an herb. It's not a vegetable. It's an herb. When you juice it, you're creating herbal medicine. So important to know. That's the difference. Plus, you guys are here. This is a complete electrolyte. Why are they being kicked off, Kurt? Why do you think? Why do you think? This is a complete electrolyte, is what it is, just so you know. There's no other herb or vegetable or fruit that's a complete electrolyte. Yeah, it's full on reality awareness. Yeah, they're kicking everybody off. It's full on, of course. It's, here's the deal. There's no other fruit, vegetable, or herb, or spice, or root, or shoot that has a complete electrolyte inside of it. Only celery. That's one of the reasons why people heal. What's a juicer? MM900 HDS. MM900 HDS. Amegajuicers.com. That's the model. It's the model, and I'll show you why. The pulp's coming out dry. You see this? It's an incredible juicer. Incredible. Mevlove. You guessed it. Yep, thank, thanks Chris for letting everybody know which one it is. Thanks, Jerry. So I'm giving you guys the do's and don'ts a little bit. Yes, Jason, you can use this other things. Dasani, you can use this, you can use this um, on other things. Absolutely, that's, that, of course you can. Can you use a normal juicer? Yeah, Charming, definitely. Of course you can, you can um, use uh, another juicer. And that's still a medical device. But this one saves you money and pays for itself. 
It saves you money and pays for itself. It's paid for itself over and over again for me. It saved me thousands of dollars at this point. So it's the MM900 HDS. Someone said they used a bullet and strain it. You can do that with a blender. But it'll cost you a lot in celery over time because you can only get so much and the pulp isn't dry. Don't do high pressure pasteurization. You guys don't know it, but you're doing it. You go to the health food store and you guys buy celery juice that looks fresh and raw. You buy it and it was HPP and you just wasted your money. It has a shelf life on the store and it says fresh, it's not. That's celery juice in the store, that's not fresh celery juice. Unless it's a juice bar and they just juiced it with a cold pressed juicer. This is a cold pressed juicer. The juicer is the MM900 HDS. HPP, not for me, lemon bottle up. <laughs> That's one way to remember it. So megajuicers.com and you'll find the MM900 HDS. This is the one. It's their celery juicer model. The reason why I did that skit at the beginning is because people end up on all these medical devices. They end up on medical devices. They end up in hospitals. They end up, end up at home on medical devices. And they end up getting all this blood drawn constantly and they end up just losing their lives. And this is a medical device to help stop people from going the other direction. It's the whole point. Okay? And they don't do celery juice. So, you've got to strain your celery juice. Don't add water. I read someone on Instagram today say you shouldn't drink lots of it because of high sodium. Yeah, but they'll just tank all the salt. Like, real salt. You know? Everybody's, like, killing themselves with sodium, like road salt, and killing themselves with rock salt, and doing eating all this salt. This isn't that kind of thing. I mean, I, I've written a book about this. There, this. You need sodium in your blood, but you need sodium from natural sources like this. They'll eat pizzas and burgers. Do you know how much salt is on that stuff? It's unbelievable. Yeah. Do you know how much salt is in this? Let me just, vegan burgers. Just pretend it's vegan. Not even animal protein. Just pretend it's a vegan burger. Do you know how much salt is sodium is in that fake cheese? You guys couldn't even believe They'll eat, they'll eat vegan burgers and vegan burritos three times a week. They'll dump all the salt in their system and they won't drink celery juice. Celery's got too much salt in it. Are you kidding me? It doesn't have too much salt in it. Of course you heard somebody say that. Of course you did. You're going to hear somebody say all kinds of stuff. And that's just one thing they're going to say. You're going you're gonna to hear people say, don't juice it. Eat it instead. Juicing's bad for you. You need the fiber. You're going to hear all this stuff. You know what's really evil? Like really, really sinister? Like really sinister? Is when people get robbed the chance to heal because they hear some fake information. Like don't eat it because of too much salt. Or it's bad for you to juice. You should just whatever. And that's evil. That's, that's evil. Why strain it? You want to, because it's an herbal extract. Same way you make tea. You don't want to eat the tea bag. You don't want to eat the tea. You want to have the herbal extraction. It's how it works the best. And with celery, especially celery, because the sodium cluster salts, the trace minerals, they have to be suspended in a liquid solution and you can't have too much of that fiber. You can't have too much of that pulp and fiber in there. They 
You have to have it suspended in that solution. Can you make it in refri Yeah, you can refrigerate it, definitely. You guys, if you just came on, this is the MM900 HDS. It's a medical device, in my opinion. When I don't drink celery, my skin bleeds easier from scratching my eczema. Whoa, because you're building collagen by using celery. That's how you help rebuild collagen, by celery juice. Celery juice helps to repair, it helps to restore. So important. How quickly should you drink it? Right away if you want, if you can. Right away, you juice it, drink it. Juice it, drink it. Right away if you can. Can you refrigerate it? Yeah, for 24 hours. You can go two days, but it's gonna start getting a little mucky after two days. You wanna drink it within 24 hours, hopefully right away. It removes cravings and addictions, such relief. Of course it doesn't, I'll tell you why. The trace minerals go to the brain. It's got a complete electrolyte. It goes to the brain, you guys. It goes to the brain. Guys, there's a sale right now for the next few days. It's on with this juicer at omegajuicers.com. Just this model, MM900 HDS, you won't be sorry. Why can't I just eat celery? Of course you can eat celery. Yeah, of course you can eat celery. Why can't you eat celery? Why can't you? It won't do the same thing. You'll never get enough of the liquid extract. It's concentrated into medicine like this. I just got a few drops of celery juice from that beast. Not gonna be enough. Plus all the fibers there. It dilutes it. You gotta have it in the living solution. The herbal extract. Mm-hmm. Yep. You can't. You can't eat two bunches of celery a day. You can't eat a whole bunch of celery. It's really hard. Two plus it won't give you the same thing. How do you store celery? In the fridge. Who needs a juicer? What's the model name again? MM900 HDS. MM900 HDS. It's a celery juicer. It's at omegajuicers.com. Omega it's their celery model. Okay? So... What you'll find is the pulp, and this is really fibrous celery. The batch of celery I have right now is all fiber. This stuff is dry. It's dry. It's so nice. It's dry, and that's what's incredible about it. It's dry pulp, and I love it when it's dry like that. I love when it's dry. Can celery be substituted with any other vegetable? No, not for what it does. It's the only thing that has the sodium cluster salts that kill bugs. Let's go into that a little bit. It's an herb. It's not a vegetable. It's an herb. You got to remember that. It's an herb. So important. Critical piece of information. It kills viruses. It kills bacteria. So that's what it does. It's there to kill bad bugs. Important to know. So move this over a little bit. I'm going to cap this if you guys are okay with that. Right? Why are you sick with autoimmune bugs, pathogens? Does it help with high histamine levels? Yes, it does. Always does. So pathogens are why we're sick. They get inside our liver. Shingles, HHV6, cytomegalovirus, Epstein-Barr, they get inside our liver. It's why we get sick. Pathogens get inside our gut. Okay, you guys on TikTok? Celery juice is anti-pathogenic. Anti-bug. You guys, if you just came on here, Medical Medium, Heavy Metal Detox Cleanse is next week. We're doing it. Are you guys joining in? Have a juicer ready. That's part of the cleanse. If you don't have anything, still be there. It's free. Just be there. You'll learn something. Chris, yes. Helped me so much with my high histamine levels. No more histamine issues. It's so important. Celery juice is that incredible. How long does it take to drink before you feel better, Sydney says, asks. Well, you could be doing a couple of things wrong. Are you consuming it right? Nothing mixed in it. No lemon, no water, no ice cubes. 16 ounces on an empty stomach minimum. Try for 32 ounces, just so you know. One thing right there. 
Second thing is, are you doing things to kill yourself while you're trying to heal yourself? Are you doing things to kill yourself while you're trying to heal yourself? Are you dousing yourself up with perfumes? So Sydney, are you doing perfumes? Okay, it's highly toxic. Are you doing air fresheners? Are you doing perfumes? Are you doing colognes, right? So that right there breaks down the immune system. So as you're doing your celery juice, you're battling something bad you're doing. So how long does it take to get better? It depends on how many bad things you're doing. How much chocolate are you eating? Are you caffeined out and burning your adrenals out? Your celery juice is trying to save you from killing yourself with all the chocolate bars you're eating, all the perfume you're using, all the air fresheners, all the bad supplements you're taking, all the fish oil, all the bad probiotics. Everyone seems to be getting a lot of cold sores lately. A lot? Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Everybody was locked indoors for a year, okay? And their herpes simplex one were raring to go. And when everybody got let out of the gate, it's been a smorgasbord of people interacting intimately. So there is even commercials like exhibiting that where people are running out of their buildings they're running out of their apartment buildings and, and, and all making out in the park. You better believe Simplex One is cranking right now. It's cranking. People are spreading Simplex One like left and right right now. Um, they're also spreading everything else too. So yeah, anyway, so that's why like people are getting a lot of cold sores. You better believe it. People are getting a lot of things right now. People are really sick right now. Anyway, critical. Wild Lizzie Flower, no more caffeine or chocolate since drinking my CJ. No more cravings or addictions. Incredible. So the goal is, is to try to weed out all the bad things you're doing. How much apple cider vinegar are you doing? That's bad. So then you need this to save you, to, to help you. Sydney, every time I drink celery juice, it makes my IV symptoms worse. I am hoping over time it will get better. Thank you. Well, what else you got going on, Sydney? Are you doing the apple cider vinegar? Are any vinegars? Are you doing the caffeines, the coffee, the chocolate, the matcha tea? Are you doing kombucha tea? All these things wreak havoc and tear up the gut. Like, are you doing eggs? Like, what are you doing? Because if that was me, I'd be off eggs, dairy, gluten. I'd be off of all that stuff. I'd be lowering the fats. I'd be off the caffeine. I'd be off the vinegars. And then guess what? My IBS would be like, bye-bye, see you later, no more IBS anymore, be drinking more celery juice too. Are you off of corn? Are you off of pork? Yeah. You can even mono-eat to clean that up. You know, if you've done the mono-eating cleanse, right? The mono-eating cleanse. We're doing the heavy metal detox cleanse next week. How many of you guys are ready for it? Are you guys ready for it? Right? There's an IBS protocol in here, by the way. Sydney, IBS protocol in there. And cleanse the heel. Does the celery juice need to be organic? No, it doesn't. Does the celery need to be organic? No, it doesn't. If it means you're not gonna have any celery juice because it's not organic, then you're making a huge mistake. Make sure you wash it good and make sure you do it. How do you clean the celery? I like to clean in between stalks right here get the dirt out, I, I get a bowl of water, I put a little bit of natural dish soap in there, a little touch of that in the water, right? Move it around, I rub the stalks, clean out under here, rinse it really good, boop, all set, shake it out, boop. Dr. Sherry Green, good to see you. You ready for the, Alyssa Marie, you ready for the uh, heavy metal detox cleanse next week? It's so sad. There's so much. There's so much misinformation about celery out there. It's so sad. It's so sad. It's it's actually horrifying, because it's it's the only thing that's pulled people out of literally hell and back. Celery juice has helped me. It's um, it's the best hands down. Can you imagine misinformation about something? Let me tell you guys. You guys want to hear something really quick? Please, if you have an ear for a second. Celery juice. Celery is the only trend. That's not propelled by all the shareholders, the interest groups, and the investors, the bankers, and all the money. All those other trends out there that don't fix people, that, that don't pull people off of Mattress Island, like kombucha tea and apple cider vinegar, have 
millions and millions of dollars going into them so that you guys, it's shoved in your face 24 seven. And then, and then celery juice is shit on purposely. There's paid for campaigns to purposely shit on celery juice because it's in the way. It's in the way. There's trolls, a whole organization of trolls that are paid to tear down celery juice from all of the investors and shareholders of all the other apple cider vinegar companies, kombucha tea companies, whey protein powder companies, all, all that stuff, all of it. And they purposely shit on celery juice. Celery juice is the only one that doesn't have money behind it and it survives because it saves lives. Marissa says, celery juice has helped me, has helped to heal my severe digestive issues that I've had since birth, nothing else worked. Multiple diets, guessing games, medicines never worked. Celery juice did. And that's why it's shit on. Marissa, that's why celery juice is crapped on and torn apart and people talking crap about it because there's paid for campaigns to rip it down. Don't you guys know how evil works? You guys know how evil works, right? Evil wants you guys all wrapped up in pharmaceuticals. Evil wants you guys all wrapped up in schemes and alternative medicine schemes. Evil wants you guys all wrapped up in conventional med medical schemes. Meanwhile, evil just sits there and just loves darkness, loves to try to rip apart celery juice with all this fake information and misinformation because it moves the needle and it's known to be one of the medical medium tools. And that's another reason. What happened was it was so, it was so solidified that it's a medical medium tool, celery juice, that's another reason why they just don't want, they just want to rip it down because it saves lives. It saves lives. lives. If you guys, this IGTV is gonna be saved. You can watch it later too, right? It moves the needle and that's why. It's one of the medical medium tools that moves the needle. It's so important. So here's, here's how it goes, right? When you're drinking your celery juice, you're restoring your stomach glands that's where you lose your HCL, your hydrochloric acid, right? Can CJ help with ulcerative colitis? Of course it does. Ask your doctor what's right for you, but I would look at, I would look at the book here. I would look at Cleanse the Heal. And if I, had, if I had ulcerative colitis, I would learn to, to know what it is. You've got to look in the shingle section because colitis is caused by shingles. And if I had colitis, which is the shingles, I'd be drinking celery juice. I'd also learn how to do other stuff too because you need more tools. But celery juice is an incredible one. It's the only one that moved the needle for you, Miranda. Veggie Kitty says you don't need to eat the dry pulp. No, definitely don't need to eat the dry pulp. You don't want to eat the dry pulp, no. Nope. And what happens is that, oh, guys, hold on. Hold on. I got a bunch of, I've been talking to these Alternative medicine doctors, and they keep on telling me that I'm wasting pulp and fiber. These are registered dietitians, nutritionists, and, and functional medicine doctors keep on saying that I'm wasting pulp and fiber by juicing celery. So what I decided to do is start to save all my shit. I'm even asking my friends to save their shit too. That's my friend's shit right there. Yeah, that's my friend Bob's shit. Yeah, Bob, Bob took a shit and he gave it to me because I don't want him wasting all his fiber because I thought about it. And if they don't want us juicing celery because we're wasting the fiber, even though we don't digest the fiber, then what about all the fiber we keep on crapping out and flushing down the toilet every day? So I was thinking, oh my God, if I'm wasting all the celery fiber, then what about all the fiber from all my other fruits and vegetables and herbs? So I've been asking my friends to save all their shit for me because I thought I would eat their shit. Yeah. So that's Bob's shit right there. That's Sue's shit. That's my dog's shit. I don't want to waste my dog's fiber. That's a dog shit I got out of the park right there. I got that dog shit out of the park. I don't want that dog wasting their fiber. Yeah, this is, this is a, um, I don't know it. This was, this was by a homeless person's tent. And I was like, if there's any fiber left in that, then I better, I better make sure I eat that too. 
This is this. I went by Tent City. I took a trip to the West Coast and I went by Tent Tent City and I. There's, there's, there's tent cities everywhere. Every state there is in the United States, right? We make sure people are starving and we don't give them any food and we make sure they just die in tents, right? Well, I went down to Tent City and I found some shit on the sidewalk and I decided to make sure that we wouldn't waste that fiber either. That's the cat shit right there. I figure we shouldn't waste the cat fiber, the cat poop fiber. And that's... um. I don't know what this is, which I think a friend of mine dropped that off at the door and said it was their, their, um, fiber, fiber, we don't want to waste our fiber and flush it down the toilet, you guys. So I better stop juicing and I better just start eating all the crap I can. I better start getting as much crap as I can to eat because I don't want to waste all that fiber. Aren't those guys really smart in alternative medicine, conventional medicine? They tell you don't juice your celery because you're going to waste all that fiber. So I better just, what about all the fiber we're pooping out every day? It's going down the toilet. I better just start saving it. So I've been saving it and re-eating it. Yep. I've been saving all, all my shit and everybody else's shit. If you guys got shit, make sure you poop in a box. Poop in a box and save it for me. Because what I'll do is I'll eat all your shit too because I don't want... The alternative medicine doctors are so smart that we're losing all of our fiber and I don't want us to lose all our fiber. Are loose stools healthy? They're not unhealthy. You can have a non-loose stool. You can have a stool that's not loose and it could be really unhealthy. And you don't want your stool compacted so hard. That's not healthy. That's not healthy if your stool is compacted. You want to get a hernia? You want to get a hernia trying to poop out a hard stool? I would take a loose stool any day than instead of a hard packed compacted stool that won't move and I get a hernia trying to poop out. I would take a, I would take a loose stool any day. I, I, you know, when people used to come to me, when I had people, the sickest people on the planet come to me all those years and fly to my office. And then you'd get somebody that only had loose stools and they had nothing else going on. And they're like, well, I got loose stools. I'm like, are you kidding me? Would you rather have a hard, compacted, dry stool that causes a hernia when you try to poop it out? Like, be happy you have a loose stool. Get out of here. Leave my office. Let's get somebody in here sick. Okay, so let's, let's go back to work. <laughs> Fiber... Fiber is indigestible. It's undigestible. Okay? It's the part the body discards. It doesn't break down and it doesn't offer nutrients. Fiber in a plant is only there to hold the plant up to get the sun. Fiber is only the skeleton in the plant. It doesn't harbor nutrients. We extract the nutrients from fiber and then we poop the fiber out so we extract any of the juice from the skeleton which is fiber and then we poop it out so we do so when you hear somebody says don't don't you know you should everybody gets tons of fiber what who's are you guys on a white flour diet are you guys on a white flour diet i'm just curious are you on are you on a diet and you're just having are you just on a white flat are you just on a white flour and cheese diet is that all you're on are you just on a no fiber diet where you're having you're having white bread and cheese? You're having processed white flour and cheese? Is that what you guys are doing? You got you because then there's no fiber. Okay? And most people's guts are so compromised they can't extract anything from fiber. Anything left that's in fiber. They can't even they can't even extract anything left from fiber. Their, their guts are so compromised and beaten down. That's why celery juice is so incredible. You guys, by the way, anybody came up came on here, the MM 900 HDS, incredible. The, the the pulp is dry to the bone. It's dry. It saves money. It's 20% off at omegajuicers.com. That's the juicer right there. So are you guys on bleached white flour with no fiber and cheese and that's all you eat everybody has plenty of fiber in their diet 
unless they're eating something like that. You have plenty of fiber in your diet. No one's missing fiber. So this is an herbal extraction. Do not be afraid of creating an herbal medicine drink, an herbal extraction, because you think you're going to be waste. You think you're going to be wasting fiber. If that's the case, then I better just we just you better just start eating lots of shit. Then you better start eating lots of it. Just collect all your poop in the toilet because of all that fiber you're wasting. You better just save it and collect it, and you better just start eating it because you know what. <laughs> Right? It doesn't make any sense. It goes in the toilet. It goes down the train. Everybody poops, it goes down the train. Fiber. <laughs> so I you know, when you hear these things, how do you guys how do you guys survive? How do you guys survive in alternative medicine with all the misinformation? Like, how do you guys survive? I mean, it's nonstop. Every single angle of the alternative medicine field and conventional is twisted upside down. How do you guys even survive? Because your body is overriding 90% of all the bad stuff that they, they tell you to do and the bad information and the bad idea. Bad ideas. You get real sick, that's when that stuff kills you. All their, all their misinformation pieces really kill you when you get too sick. Yeah, when the scale tips. When the scale tips over and you get real sick, that's when you know the apple cider vinegar and don't juice any celery and better do this whey protein and here, do your kombucha tea and make sure you do lots of chocolate. That's when that stuff kills you, when that scale tips. That's when you know, oh my God, I'm screwed. I'm getting too sick. And every single person in altered medicine has bad information and misinformation. It's so sad. I don't know how anyone, what, I don't know how anybody makes it. I don't, how they survive. None of it makes sense. When your body can't take it anymore, then you guys, you guys learn. You guys learn. When your body can't take it anymore. When your body can't take it anymore and you're doing all your sodium bicarbonate and all your diatomaceous earth particles and all your charcoal supplements and all your, eating all your essential oils internally. Once your body can't take it anymore, you just go down like, you just go down. I've seen it so many times. All your high fat, they tell you to eat all your high fat, all your chocolate until your heart just wants to freak out and get a stroke because of all the caffeine, all the fish oil, the mercury and all the fish oil, all the nutritional yeast with the MSG. Once the, tip, once the scale tips, you're down for the count. Boom! You're down for the count once the, once the scale tips. How do any of you guys even survive in that? You got to be young. And then they'll blame celery juice. Oh, it was the celery juice that did you in. Oh, it was the celery juice. You, you shouldn't have juiced it. You should have eaten the celery stalks. Oh, it was the celery juice. How do you guys survive with all that blood taken from you? With all the blood taken from you? Eight vials, six vials, 10 vials, 15 vials. How do you guys survive with all that blood taken from you? Your immune system being removed, your white count being removed. How do you guys survive with all the perfume and cologne? and all the scented candles, and then all the high fat diets and stuff. How do you, all the high fat, how do you guys survive? You know what happens? You get too sick, you go down for the count. So on TikToks, lots of family members don't survive. On TikTok, lots of family members don't survive. I, look, I get, I, I'm friends with a lot of functional medicine doctors, lots of MDs, lots of surgeons, and they even know the misinformation out there is packed. Everybody has misinformation. It's swimming around. Everybody's swimming in it. Everybody's trying. Next thing you know, they're doing oyster syrup. Next thing you know, they're doing oysters with mercury. Next thing you know, they're doing fish oil. Next thing you know, they're doing krill oil. Next thing you know, doing pearl powder. Now you're doing fulvic acid. Next thing you know, you're doing this and that. And you know what? In the end, it's a joke. It's a joke. Meanwhile, medical medium information is the only one that knew about Epstein-Barr being reactivated and, and, and the plague causing the reactivation and it's Epstein-Barr and the shingles and all that stuff. It's, how do you guys make it out there? I mean, I remember being in my office and people just being carried in, being flown around the world, the richest people on the planet coming to see me when I wasn't even charging anything and you just leave an apple to see me. What's wrong with ACV? Burns out your stomach glands, causes your teeth to collapse inside out. 
by making them porous down the road. And when you're young, you may not see it. Listen to the Medical Wean Podcast and Apple Podcast. Stuff wreaks havoc on you. Acetic acid wreaks havoc on you. Yeah. So we're talking about celery juice. Celery juice kills off the bugs, and that's why people are sick. Celery juice kills off the bugs. That's why people are sick. They're sick with chronic inflammation because of bugs. Shingles, Epstein-Barr, all that stuff. And that's why they end up on medications and drugs. Because they're inflamed. Because of bugs. Celery juice helps to kill the bugs. You guys, if you just got on here, MM900HDS, 20% off at omegajuicers.com. But it's the MM900HDS. It has to be that one. That's where you get the dry pulp. That's where you get the dry pulp. That's where you save money. Yeah, okay. So we're just talking about a little bit. The Grateful Yogi says, you're the real deal, Anthony. I'm honored you're here. Thank you, The Grateful uh, Yogi. Honored you're here. ACV is an amazing podcast. Jana, Java, it is. It's, it's a great one. Get so much information in there. So you check it out. It's at Medical Mean Podcast at Apple Podcast. So what happens is your liver gets stagnant and sluggish. It's MM info going all the way back for 30 plus years. Stagnant and sluggish. Stagnant and sluggish. That's how you get weight, weight gain. I came from MM, the whole weight gain. Now there's doctors saying, oh, you get weight gain from sluggish liver. Really? Because there's no science about it. So where'd you get it? <laughs> yeah, from my books. So sl stagnant, sluggish liver, right? Then you get bugs in the liver. It releases all this neurotoxic junk and byproduct. And then you get the histamines and the hives. And then you just get sick and then you get the fibromyalgia and then you get all the Epstein-Barr related conditions and then your gut gets toxic and then you get the bloating, then you're bloating and now you got the streptococcus in your gut and then you got the strep in your gut and that's happening. You got the strep in your colon, strep in your small intestinal tract, you got the H. pylori in your stomach and what happens is you start losing your stomach glands, your liver starts to get stagnant and sluggish, you got decaying protein and and decaying rancid fat stuck on your lining of your colon and small intestinal tract, and now you're sick. And now you're sick. If I had colitis, I'd be mono eating. I'd be if I had colitis, I'd be doing some celery juice. I'd be mono eating. I'd learn how to. I'd learn about the shingles protocol for colitis. I'd take this to my doctor. If I was sick with colitis, I would take this to my doctor. That's to cleanse the heal. Compassion goddesses, yeah, I know, they're, they're badly trying to censor you tonight. I know, it's, it's, I know, there'd be thousands on here tonight. They've been censoring since, um, they've been censoring me since two and a half years now, or three years on IG, where they kick everybody off. Yeah, it got real bad last September when I launched the podcast. Okay. Okay, so I got a chocolate bar in front of me here. How many chocolate bars have you guys eaten? You want to counter it, if anything. You want to make sure you're getting your celery juice in you. If you're not going to give up chocolate, make sure you get celery juice in you so you stand a fighting chance. So you don't go downhill down the road. Because the chocolate, what it does is it burns out the adrenals. It ages women really fast. You want the wrinkles? Chocolate will do it. You want the, you want the, the sunspots? Chocolate will do it. If you, I'm not trying to judge anybody. I get it. Chocolate tastes good and people use it to just get jacked up. And I get it. But what happens is you burn the adrenals out and you just start to age really fast. So if you're going to do that, you better be doing your medicine. You better be doing your medicine. You do, you use, you used to eat chocolate every day. Yeah. People eat chocolate every single day. They get addicted to it, right? And they become a slave to that caffeine, to the chocolate industry. They become a slave to the caffeine industry. It's so sad. Literally, they have to have those chocolate bars, the dark chocolate, and they have to gobble it down every day to just try to get some energy. What they don't realize, they're just burning out. They just become the robots is what they do. They become the chocolate robots. And that's what happens. They become the chocolate robots, and it's really, really sad. It is. Mm, they become brainwashed. Brain, brainwashed. No, chocolate, 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 brainwashed, 
Chocolate robot, chocolate robot, brainwash, brainwash, chocolate robot, chocolate robot, chocolate robot, chocolate, 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 chocolate. I see chocolate bar, I see chocolate bar, brainwash, brainwash, chocolate bar, I see chocolate bar, chocolate robot, chocolate robot, 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 chocolate robot, robot, chocolate struck. Oh, I'll kill myself, kill myself, I'm addicted, I'm addicted, chocolate robot, 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 chocolate, 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 chocolate. I'm at Whole Foods, where my chocolate, 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 choc
ancient cacao ceremonies must have been just, everything must have been just right. Ancient wine, yep, ancient wine ceremonies too. Wine's been around for thousands of years. Uh-huh. Why did they need caffeine thousands of years ago? Did anybody ever think about that? How come they needed caffeine thousands of years ago? Oh, wait a minute. They didn't do anything wrong. They weren't addicted. You don't think ancient ceremonies with cacao, you don't think they were addicted? Weren't they human beings? Were they aliens or were they human beings? Because if they were human beings a couple thousand years ago and they did cacao ceremonies, doesn't that mean they were addicted to caffeine? So wait a minute. They were addicted to caffeine a couple thousand years ago, so that means we're addicted to caffeine too. But it's ancient, so it should give us a free pass. Hey man, it's ancient. Yeah, that's right, plant, the, you know, these cacao ceremonies go back in ancient. Hey, are the girls here yet? Are all the dudes here yet? Because we're going to have a really good chocolate ceremony tonight. Yeah, we spiked it with extra stuff. We even put ayahuasca in there. Yeah. Cold, yeah. Wait, Cold White Springs says ancient tobacco ceremonies. Yeah, there was ancient tobacco ceremonies. But was, does that mean it was done right? Huh, man? You don't think they weren't addicted to nicotine? Okay, so it's, it's perfectly normal as long as it was ancient. It doesn't matter if 5,000 years ago, if they were all hooked on caffeine and nicotine too. That gives us a free pass. It makes it all right. It sure does. Uh-huh. Yeah, it makes it perfectly fine. Yep. If they did this years ago, then so could we. Who cares if we're addicted to caffeine? They were addicted to caffeine. They made it right. You know what's like really weird? Everybody has misinformation. Like I said, I don't know how anybody when they get sick. This is why people die when they get sick. They die when they get sick and they lose their shit because guess what? There's so much misinformation out there, they can't find their way out. And that's sad and I've seen it for decades and decades. I've seen it for decades. Because someone who's sick, who's on Mattress Island is gonna be like, well, they do ancient, everybody's saying it's ancient to do cacao because the ceremony, let me do a bunch of cacao. And then they have a nervous breakdown and they end up in the hospital and they end up drugged heavily. And then next thing you know, they're morphine to death. It's like, it's like bloodletting. Was bloodletting good just because it was thou a thousand years old? They used, to cut your, they used to cut your arms and just you bleed in a pan? Was that, was that good? But it was ancient. So smart. Yeah. And you know, and it, it's sad. It's sad. The darker the chocolate, the more caffeine. That's the whole point. The more potent the cacao is, the more caffeine. Look, I'm not judging anybody. I'm not. It's not about judging anybody. It's just like, let's make sure we, we, we do all our cacao, we do our cacao ceremonies, and we don't do celery juice. Let's just rip apart celery juice. Hey, there's t you're, you're losing the fiber in your celery juice. Don't do it. Or celery juice is too salty. Um, but make sure we do our cacao ceremonies. Sure, right? I mean, right health with Liz, right? I know. Right, Chris? Right, you it? People drink caffeine all day long. They're jacked up on caffeine all the time. It's like, okay, when you get sick, watch what that caffeine does. When you finally get sick, you, when people are actually sick, when they have neurological problems and sickness, and just so you know, we're heading to a place where so many people are going to be sick pretty soon. And you try to do caffeine when you're sick and watch how you tank. Because you see how bad it really is for you. It's just that when you're strong, you can't kind of tell yet. You're just jacked up on it. Caffeine's a trillion dollar industry and it owns people. It owns people. People are slaves. You're slaves to that caffeine. You're slaves, right? Caffeine industry cannot do no wrong. Cannot do no wrong. Can't do any wrong. But yeah, celery juice is bad. Look out. Oh, be scared of celery juice. It's bad for you. Ah, celery juice is so bad. My God, everybody's saying an alternative medicine. That doctor doesn't like celery juice. 
Oh my God, that other person doesn't like celery juice, but let's do caffeine all day long. Let's do caffeine all day long. Yeah. Anyway, you guys, if you just came on here, we're talking about the MM900 HDS. It's on sale, 20% off on megajuicers.com. Doing a heavy metal detox cleanse next week. You don't want to miss that. You don't want to miss that. Caffeine gives you cysts. Caffeine does that plus so much more to people. Compassion Goddess says they're different people when they don't have sickness. I saw that go up so quick. They're different people when they don't have caffeine. Yeah, I know, I know, exactly. You know? Check out, Marissa says, check out AW's Caffeine Podcast, the Medical Meme Podcast at Apple Podcasts, Coffee, Matcha, Tea, and Chocolate. Listen to that episode. You'll be mind blown. Did you guys know that coffee farmers, right, when they're, when, when, like, the laborers, I can't tell you over the years, like, how crazy it is how many have died in the field because they get coated with a neurotoxin picking coffee and they end up, it's, they, they're drenched in it and you're not allowed, allowed to let water touch you. Um, a, co a Colombian coffee grower told me all about it, how they hide this fact and how they've lost thousands of laborers have died in the fields picking coffee when the rain comes. Oh my God. You know, but no, nobody, you know, here's the, everything's hidden from you guys that, you know, all the money hides it. You guys don't know what's going on. And then all the trendy shit that's paid for out there and the advertisements 24 seven and the millions dumped into it. You don't even know the cacao's and the cacao business is so evil. In Africa, they, they're, they're practically homeless picking, cutting down cacao pods. They're homeless. They get paid pennies purposely. They're starved. They have families living, legit living in like what's just canvas, a canvas cover with two sticks. They're literally, they don't even have homes to live in. And then they pick cacao all day. They get pennies. They make $50 a year. That's not a joke. They make $50 a year. They're starved in Africa. The cacao growers are purposely starved so that you can go in to your, you know, that your health food store and grab your chocolate and be addicted to it. They starve people. That All the pickers and growers are starved. I'm not talking about some dude that moved to you know, to Costa Rica to grow his own like little batch of cacao and says that's not true. I'm talking about literally where they grow the cacao in large, large, um, you know, large farming practices to try to grow enough of it, right? Whoa, man, they're starved to death. It's horrific. But don't drink celery juice. Don't drink celery juice. <laughs> don't, don't drink celery juice. It's bad for you. Right? Says, says an alternative doctor while they're eating a freaking chocolate bar at night at home. Don't drink, here, give, let me tell my patients, don't drink celery juice, but make sure that alternative practitioner, that nutritionist, that registered dietitian is eating lots of chocolate. But don't drink celery juice because of that medical medium guy, but make sure you're eating your chocolate. Of course you can have your, your chocolate, but don't drink celery juice. <laughs> And that's how it rolls. Let's recap a little bit. Don't mix anything in it. No ice, no water. Don't mix any other fruit, vegetable, herb into it. Juice it straight. Make sure you have your celery juice. Juice it straight. Strain it. Use a juicer if you can. This one's on sale if you want it. Megajuicers.com. Okay, it's the MM900 HDS. It's incredible. The pulp is dry to the bone. I love it. And um, really incredible. So, you juice celery every day? So proud of you. If you're sensitive, do like four ounces, six ounces, eight ounces. Do it on an empty stomach, 16 ounces on an empty stomach. Minimum, 32 ounces, empty stomach. You can do 64 ounces in a day if you want, right? But it's a great tool to battle all the things we do to kill ourselves. That's what we do. Because we're, we're, we're just, we're, that's what we are. We're being trained to kill ourselves. That's what it is. You know? 
We're being trained to kill ourselves, trained to eat the protein. We're just doing the protein. We become the protein robots. We're brainwashed. We become the chocolate robots, the caffeine robots. We're brainwashed. That's what happens. Yeah. You guys should check out my YouTube page when you can. Um, subscribe because, because, yeah, you might not be notified here. Subscribe to my YouTube page, which I'm censored on there too, by the way, on my YouTube page. <laughs> Diana says, please do the robot. I did the chocolate robot. Do you want the protein robot now? Do you think you can he heal eating meat or chicken once a day? So I'll just give you the rundown right here. Okay. You can be eating really clean animal protein diet and still heal. You can be eating a really clean plant-based diet and still heal. But you can also be eating a really clean plant-based or really clean animal protein diet, like I said before, and not heal. If you're sick with something going on, you got to know how to heal. So you need to know what's up. Marissa, the protein robot, because it depends on where you are. And so, yes, you can heal eating animal protein. And yes, you can heal eating plant fats and doing plant protein and plant-based diet. But you might have to go the extra mile and learn how to take breaks from your diet, how to cleanse by doing like the cleanse, the heal cleanses, how to do the 369 advance, whether you're an animal protein or plant, plant person, whatever. But there's a way to heal, yeah. I'm not against the animal protein eaters. I'm not against plant-based people. I'm not, I know that a lot of the plant-based people hate me because they learned most of their information from me for 35 years and me giving it to all the different people in the movement. And then they just, they just learned to just resent me. I've talked to all the leaders in the plant-based movement for 35 years. The older leaders gave them all the information on all kinds of stuff, all of it. And then, you know, and it just, it just, they're just so resentful. The plant-based movement is so resentful. You would be surprised if you knew where so much information has come from. Just like kidney information about animal protein killing your kidneys. Um, adrenaline being inside the bones of, 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 of um, adrenaline being inside the meat when you eat, when you eat cow, when you eat beef, it's medical meme info, getting off of fats, like, you know, plant-based people getting off of fats, like all that stuff. It's just, it's just, so yeah, what happens is you can heal as an animal protein eater and you can heal as a plant based person but you got to know the tools which tools are you doing are you doing get are you getting the metals out are you killing off the pathogens are you learning what's wrong with you you can't heal eating animal protein if you don't know what's wrong with you and you can't heal being a plant-based person if you don't know what's wrong with you the details matter once you know what's wrong with you then you can heal but i'm not against anybody either side why are they resentful are you kidding Celery juice alone has gotten so many people in the movement resentful. The fact that it's the number one selling fruit, vegetable, herb on the planet, the fact that everyone only hears about celery juice everywhere they go, the fact that juice bars across the world talk about medical medium and they have signs up in all the juice bars across the world saying medical medium, celery juice, medical medium. Are you kidding? The fact that they can't make money off of the celery juice, the fact that so many people have healed from celery juice and then contributed to medical medium, you resentful, what? The fact that medical medium isn't like, you can't, you have to understand, like when you, when you learn how to heal and you're doing celery juice to heal, you stop doing all this other stuff that you were spending money on. So you stop spending all this money on all this other stuff. You stop buying into all their programs that don't get you better. You start, you stop buying on all their expensive stuff. And then now they're just, they get upset because you're not buying all their shit and all their expensive programs and all their things because you're learning how to heal. That's why they're resentful. It's the money. It's the money. X Rose X, good to see you. MM Info has got a lot of clout and street cred is there. People are healing. Listen to B12 Medical Meme Apple Podcast. Awesome. Health of Liz. Facts. Lemon flavor. Haters. I'll see you guys. You guys. 
Um, Dr. Shuri Green, good to see you. It's always about the money, lemon bomb low. <laughs> you guys, am I going to see you guys tomorrow? I'm going to be live tomorrow, right? So I'm going to be at your service for a few days because I want to get everybody interested in doing medical medium heavy metal detox smoothie so they can do some healing for free. So medical medium heavy metal detox cleanse I'm doing next week. You know how we did the mono cleanse, you guys? Heavy metal detox cleanse next week. So I'm here for the next couple of days, few days. Let everybody know it's going to be a three-day challenge. Medical medium heavy metal detox cleanse three-day challenge coming up. That's why I'm here. Make sure you got a book. Get it free at the library if you if you can't afford it on sale at Amazon.com US. And juicer, make sure you have a juicer. It's on sale. MM900 HDS. Uh, Megajuicers.com. If you have another juicer, use it. Juicers are medical devices. Okay, you guys. Love you guys. Keep an eye out. Keep your notifications on even though they don't work. But keep on checking. We're going to be live. And good to see you guys tonight. Love you much. See you soon. For grateful to you guys too. Bless your heart. Truly.